Okay, so the Lego Batman movie. So the Lego Batman movie follows the story of the infamous caped crusader Batman. And during his reign over the Gotham City villains, everybody praises him to be the greatest superhero to ever live. And life seems great for Batman. In which most of his life he feels as if he's alone and eventually he adopts a young Dick Grayson, AKA Robin. And while he's dealing with Dick Grayson, he's also dealing with Gotham's greatest villain, the Joker. So everything just seems to pile up on Batman. But during Batman's crusade of stopping the Joker, he must also learn what it means to be a family with someone and determining if this is something worth keeping in his life. Now the Lego Batman movie is the official spin-off of 2014's The Lego Movie. Now if I were to make a top 10 2014 list or if I were to redo it, the Lego Movie would still be on there. I watched the movie the other night. It's still brilliant, if not better in my eyes. Now apparently Batman was just so great in The Lego Movie that people were just like, hey, let's give Batman his own film and then just kind of build a world where it's kind of like the Lego cinematic universe. Plus to make up for the fact that Batman v Superman left a lot of people upset and just left a very bad taste in their mouth So they're just like what else do we have to lose now? And is it sad to say that the Lego Batman movie is probably one of the better Batman movies to come out in the past couple years and this thing is an animation? I enjoyed the hell out of this film. The Lego Batman movie is the perfect example of satirizing a famous character. Through the constant wits and clever humor, it pulls off the fact that this film may know more about Batman than any recent film. It pokes fun at the fact that Batman thinks he's so incredibly awesome that he doesn't need a sidekick, so whenever he does save the city, all this praise and glory comes to him, so every trait that you can think of, this film makes fun of. Which makes me give a huge compliment to the film and it having a cleverly written script. Each dialogue that's being said you can tell that the cast and crew had a lot of fun making this film. Especially what it took to create this Lego comic book-ish universe. The director Chris McKay made every cameo that had a relation to the character of Batman men so well together and it was great. This film is just one giant homage to old school and modern tropes of the geek world. It's kind of like Easter egg heaven in this film. I myself personally enjoyed that. Plus the Lego Batman has the same type of stop motion computer animation that the Lego movie pulls off and of course due to technology advancing it looks a lot lot better this time. The combination of the world building, the humor, and the writing, just all those things I would praise this film for, especially in it being a spinoff from another film. I give huge props to that because that's a rare occasion. Also the cast brings a huge help in bringing the humor to life because they do a great job in providing some of the voices of these characters. Will Arnett as the character of Batman does a great job in bringing this comedic sense to the character of Batman and everything that you found funny in Batman in the Lego movie you see in this film. And Zach Galifianakis provides the voice of the Joker and is probably the second best voice actor of the character since Mark Hamill and it's kind of weird how a Lego figurine has more screen time in a Batman Batman film than Jared Leto does. Weird. Plus it was kind of funny how the film makes fun of Jared Leto's Joker and the whole Suicide Squad plot is, I don't know, I'm getting a little off course here, but I thought it was kind of funny. Also some of the characters like Rosario Dawson as Batgirl, Michael Cera as Robin, Ralph Fiennes as Alfred. I could go on and on about this cast and how great they are, but I believe the whole fun is finding out which voice actor is voicing some of these characters because you're hearing some of these characters you're like, okay, they sound kind of familiar and then you wait till the end credits come up and then you're just like, oh shit, I, I was right the whole time or oh wow, I never would expect that. It's kind of fun knowing who is voicing which character. I, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Just these actors knew it was fun and and them translating onto the screen and onto their characters just made it even more fun. Now the only really major complaint I have about the Lego Batman movie, which is the same thing that everybody else has a problem with, is that the humor can be a little bit too fast paced at times. Whenever they land a joke and if you do laugh, they land another joke right after and it's probably gonna bound to happen to you at least a couple times in the film. Because this film has the same type of humor that the Lego movie has and I totally get how some people may not find it to be funny, but personally, I found it to be hilarious. It's just something to point out that these jokes are really fast paced and may bug some people. Also the comedy like really hits you hard like the first and second act of the movie. But once it gets to the third act, it kind of like takes a dip. I, I didn't really find it to be that funny. But it doesn't stop me from thinking that this is a well-made animation with great humor, world building, writing, and a nice little message about family in there. It's nothing too spectacular, but it's enough for you to say, oh, that's kind of sweet, especially for a character like Batman. Because I say, if you want to see the Lego Batman movie, it is definitely worth seeing at the full admission. Thank you guys so much for watching my review for the Lego Batman movie, and I want to know what your guys' thoughts are about the film, and what is your favorite Batman film to date? Whatever it is, we can have that discussion down below. And sorry guys for this extremely late review, because work has just been kicking my ass lately, and right now it's like 12 in the morning. 
Yay, I'm gonna stay up all night. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all that social media shit down below. Keep in contact with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, may the force be with you. <laughs>